Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some application examples related to factoring trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So, let me draw a figure and then I will explain the problem. We have a, a rectangle like that and we have an inside rectangle like that and the area of the outside rectangle is given to us in terms of a trinomial and we want to find the area of the inside rectangle okay so let me draw this a little better let's say there is an inside rectangle like that and the area of the outside rectangle is given to us in terms of a polynomial, I'm going to write that in a minute. The dimensions of one of the short sides of the rectangle are given to us as a plus 3. Okay, And the distance between the inner rectangle and the outside rectangle is a over 2. And the this corner to the outside rectangle corner is a over 2. Same thing on the long side. This, di this dimension here is a over 2 and this dimension here is also a over 2. Okay, And this information is given to us and what we need to do is we want to find the area of the inside rectangle the dimensions we need to go find the dimensions of the inside rectangle and also find the side of the outside rectangle and we want to find the area of the inside rectangle so the problem therefore is as follows the area of the outside rectangle is given to us in terms of a rectangle and that is area let me write that here area of outer outer rectangle area of the outer rectangle is given to us in terms of a rectangle 3a to the power of 2 plus 10a plus 3 we want to find the area of the inner rectangle or the shaded region okay so that is the plan so, in here, let me write these in these different steps. Step number one. The area, let me separate them out so we can then figure out what, what needs to be done. The area of outer rectangle outer rectangle is as follows, isn't it? We have a rectangle like that and one of the short sides is given to us as a plus 3 we do not know the long side we do not know this side the area of this rectangle is given to us as 3a squared plus 10a plus 3. To find the long side, we can factor the trinomial. The, therefore, we should be able to find the long side of the rectangle. So let's do that first. So let us take the area of a rectangle is given to us as the long side times the short side, the width, right? The area is given to us as a trinomial. Let's write that here. 3a to the power of 2 plus 10a plus 3 is equal to the long side times the width which is a plus 3 okay now let us factor this trinomial we will use the trial and error process to to figure that one out so since yeah well let's let let me write that here trial using the trial and error process
so we will try some numbers and we will see if that works if we cannot if that doesn't work we will try another uh, other set of numbers so we want the sum of two numbers to be equal to the middle term which is 10 and the product of the first term and the last term when we take the product of these first and last terms this is a times c the product should be equal to 9 okay so if we were to add these two numbers 3 plus 3 that is equal to 6 and that is not the number we are looking for we want the middle term to be equal to 6 so 3 and 3 is not a uh, it is uh, not a good set of numbers so therefore no good so we'll keep trying we'll, we'll pick another set of numbers and see if those numbers work so we want the product to be 9 so 9 how about 9 times 1 9 times 1 is 9 and if we take the same two numbers and add them together the sum should be equal to the middle term 9 plus 1 equals to 10 and that is exactly the middle term therefore the two numbers we are looking for are are 9 and 1 9 and 1 therefore we will use these two numbers to expand the middle term so the the trinomial we have is 3a squared plus 10a plus 3 and we, we will use 9 and 1 to expand the middle term like this 3a to the power of 2 plus 9a plus 1a plus 3 9a plus 1a is 10a we have expanded the middle term based on the two numbers which we have just found now it is just a matter of factoring by grouping we will pick the first two terms and the second two set of terms to see if we can find any common terms between them between 3a squared and 9a 3a is common if I pull out 3a common I can write the rest of the terms inside this set of parentheses um, between uh, in 3a squared if I pull out 3a what is left a is left if I pull out 3a from 9a what is left 3 is left so 3a times a is 3a squared 3a times 3 is 9a and between 9 1a and and 3 what is common 1 is common so when I pull out 1 I'm left with a plus 3 inside the second set of parentheses now if, if I look at this term and this term what is common a plus 3 is common and then inside the second set of parentheses I'm going to take I'm going to write 3a plus 1 therefore a plus 3 times 3a plus 1 is the factored form of the trinomial 3a squared plus 10a plus 3 but we said that this is the area we have factored the area part of it and therefore we came up with uh, the these uh, uh, these factors and we said let me draw this rectangle one more time this is our rectangle and we said the short side of the rectangle this side of the rectangle is given to us as a plus 3 the area of this outer rectangle is given to us as 3a squared plus 10a plus 3 and we said the area is the long side times the short side right the sh if the short side is a plus 3 what will the long side be we have just figured that one out if one side is a plus 3 the other side is 3a plus 1 isn't it this side is 3a plus 1 so therefore we got the long side and uh, we have the short side and now the the next part of the question is we want to find the area of the uh, of the inside uh, rectangle the area of the inside rectangle so therefore um, to do that we're going to do the following things in this figure here I can maybe let us let me try this in here if there is there is an inside rectangle like that and we want to find the area of that inside rectangle 
and what is given to us is these outer dimensions these dimensions are given to us as a over 2 and a over 2 um, similarly these dimensions are given to us as um, a over 2 and a over 2 so therefore when we look at this figure the inside rectangle the dimensions of the inside rectangle are going to be as follows I'm going to draw that in a in this manner here from 3a minus 1 from 3a minus 1 I'm going to subtract a so uh, if I subtract a from 3a minus 1 this is going to be 3a my uh, plus 1 minus a so therefore this long side for the inside rectangle is going to be 2a plus 1 the long side is going to be 2a plus 1 and this short side this one here is going to be um, a plus 3 minus a a plus 3 minus a because a over 2 plus a over 2 makes it 1a and therefore a plus 3 minus a here we are left with 3 and therefore we can find the area of the inside rectangle the area of area of inner rectangle inner rectangle is equal to um, long side long side times the width long side is 2a plus 1 and then the short side is 3 therefore when I expand this one out it is going to be 6a plus 3 that is the area of the of the inside rectangle so in this example we pretty much solved an uh, example problem we solved an application problem related to related to factoring trinomials in in here there was an outer rectangle given to us there was an inner rectangle given to us the dimensions of the inside rectangle were not given to us one of the sides of the outside rectangle was given to us by knowing how to factor trinomials we were able to factor out the factor out the area of the outside rectangle which was given to us in, in terms of a trinomial and using that information we were able to find the dimensions of the inside rectangle and then knowing that we were able to figure out the area of the inside rectangle this is the way we can use um, trinomials to figure out the areas of certain uh, regions okay um, in my next presentation we should look at some more examples related to factoring trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c